right, so we're gonna sit up nice and tall. If you have a block, let's go ahead and grab that block. Um, if you don't have a block, you can also use a cushion from a chair or even a pillow. And it's just a nice way to start just to sit out. It gives you a little bit of height and it also gives a little bit of relief to the hip connectors, allows the knees to come down to the ground. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall, start with our shoulders, bring them up towards our ears, roll them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. And you can just allow your hands to rest on your thighs. Right now, all we're gonna do is just connect our breath. We're gonna exercise our lungs, which is a big part of our immune system, especially during this time. So we're gonna do our Ujjayi breath using our nose to breathe in through the belly, up through the collarbone, in through the back of the throat. And then we're gonna breathe out through our nose, creating a little bit of a sound, a noise in the back of our throat. It's gonna hear, sound a little bit like the ocean. So let's just take our gaze to the floor. You can even close your eyes. And then from the belly, take a deep breath in through your nose. Send that breath up through the back of your throat. Sip in a little more. And then exhale, empty the lungs completely. Exhale through your nose. Nice, completely empty the lungs. Let's do that again. Breathe in from the belly. Up through the collarbone, in through the back of the throat. Exhale through your nose. Beautiful. And you st she should hear a little noise in the back of your throat. So let's just continue that breath. You're exercising the lungs, filling them up. And then emptying the lungs all the way through your nose till you hear that noise in the back of your throat. And for those of you that have been here before, you've heard me say this. I'm saying this for the newcomers. If you're not hearing it in the back of your throat, a little trick is to breathe in through your nose as though you're surprised to see somebody and then exhale through your nose as though you're fogging up a little hand mirror right under your nostrils. That will help you with your breath. As you're working on your breath, let's set an intention for today's practice. Thinking maybe this week is Thanksgiving. So thinking of something that you're very grateful for. Maybe it's just an image of a person or a thing or a place or something that's happened in your life, just something that you're so grateful for. And the reason we do this is for gratitude, but then also if our mind does start to wander and we stop to uh, hearing our breath, first we go back to the breath and bring back our focus to breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. But then also think of that um, thing, your, your intention, that thing that you're grateful for, and that will keep you in the present, keep you in the here and in the now, which will make your practice and your hour very beneficial. So on your next breath, let's go ahead and open our eyes, take a breath together, deep breath in from the belly, up through the collarbone, in through the back of your throat, and then exhale through your nose, all the way till all that breath is out. Beautiful. And we'll begin. So on your next breath, let's go ahead and sweep the arms up towards our ears. Maybe we even squeeze our ears with our arms, reach to the ceiling or the floor or the, I'm sorry, not the floor, um, outside if you're outside um, for the uh, sky and then squeeze your belly button in towards the spine. Reach, 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 reach. And then we're gonna press the palms together, send them down to heart center and just close your eyes again and take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Beautiful. Now open your eyes and we're gonna sweep the arms back up towards the ceiling or the sky. Squeeze your arms into your ears. And then we're just going to make some little movements side to side. Feel it in the waistline. Coming to the left to the right, either side where you start, as long as you're hearing that breath, breathing in, 
exhaling out. And then we're going to reach up towards the ceiling. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, send our hands out to either side. So you're reaching for the right wall. You're reaching for the left wall. Just reach, 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 reach as far as you can. And then make a little fist with your hands. And let's just rotate the wrists. Breathing in. Exhaling out. And then we're going to make some big movements, just big circles with our arms. We're just going to make some big movements, breathing in, exhaling out, feel this in the shoulder girdle. On your next breath, when we come up to the top, we're going to reverse. Almost as though you're reaching towards the back wall when we do this. Next breath, come up to the top. Let's go ahead and press the palms together, bend the elbows, and we're going to work on our shoulders here. So on your next breath, we're going to send the fingers to the back wall. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Let's do one more. Inhale up. Exhale back. And then clasp your hands together and bring them to the back of your skull. And just press in to the back of your skull. And inhale, touch the elbows. Exhale, bring the elbows to the outside walls. Inhale, touch. Exhale, back. Squeeze the belly button to the spine. Inhale, touch. Exhale, back. Let's do one more. Inhale, touch. Exhale, back. And let's give our shoulders a little break and just bring our hands down to our knees and just roll the shoulders out. Hearing that breath in the back of your throat and then reverse your rolls the other direction. Inhale, exhale, very nice. If you're on a block, let's go ahead and come off of that, pressing the sit bones into the mat. We'll keep the block handy for later. And now that we're on our mat, we're gonna take a little bit of a deeper stretch side to side. So once again, breathe in and reach the arms up towards your uh, ears, squeezing the arms into the ears. And on your next breath, we're going to take the right hand and press it into the mat and reach all the way to the right. Try to keep that sit bone on the left in your mat, on your mat. And then inhale, reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale, take it to the left. Stretch really far if you can, but keep that uh, right hip bone on the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Take it to the left. Let's do two more. Inhale, reach up. One to the right. Next breath, reach up. And last one to the left. Let's go ahead and reach our arms out once more. Bend the elbows. And we're going to turn into a little cactus here. We're going to bend the elbows and then just bring the right hand down. Keep the left arm up. And then we're going to reverse with our breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale. And then let's take care of our shoulders again. Let's just take our cactus, bring our hands to our shoulders, and just maybe we go around. Let's go around in a big circle so the elbows can touch. Feels a little nicer this way. And then next breath, let's reverse those circles. Breathing in, exhaling out, and then release. We're going to hunch our uh, shoulders a little bit and curve the spine. So we're just bending the spine, curling it, looking down maybe at our mat, and then we're gonna exhale and just open our chest. Inhale, curl the spine. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, curl the spine. Exhale, open the chest. Nice. On your next breath, let's bring our feet out in front. Try to keep the legs straight here. And we're going to press the palms together. This isn't easy for everybody. So if this is difficult, you can place your hands down by your side. Otherwise, press your palms together and try to sit up as tall as you can without bending your legs. And we're just going to do a little exercise with our feet. We're going to point our toes forward, feel the calf muscles turn on. 
And then we're gonna exhale, draw the toes towards our forehead. Ooh, feel that stretch. Inhale, point. Exhale, toes towards the forehead. Inhale, point. Exhale, toes towards the forehead. Let's slow it down a little bit. Inhale, point. Exhale, hear it in the back of your throat. Toes towards the forehead. One more, point. And then exhale, toes towards the forehead. On your next breath, we're gonna do some twisting. So let's go ahead and bend the knees, take this left foot, place it out to the side. We'll work with it in a moment and come back to the right leg. We're gonna bend that knee. We're gonna thread the right foot underneath the left leg. Then we're gonna go back to this left foot, take the ankle, put it on the outside of the right knee. A Little bit of a twist there. Remember, I told you I was gonna give you some uh, things that are a little more challenging today. So if you wanna take this a little further, go ahead and stack that left knee on top of the right. Now, if this is too much, back off and just take it right back. Take that ankle and that foot right back to where it was. And this is the way I'm going to demo it. And then on your next breath, we're gonna reach out the right hand. And we're just gonna wrap that hand around the knee. Maybe even draw that knee in towards your body. And then the left hand's gonna come behind you and we're gonna look over our shoulder. Try to see the middle of the back wall. Maybe you even use your left hand to push into to see that back wall. And then stay here for three breaths. Hear that breath. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. Breathing in. Exhaling out. One more breath. And then we're going to untwist. Come back to the top, to the front. Take that left foot, place it to the side. Let's unthread the right leg. And we have this letter M. Looks like a little letter M. We're going to take our hands, place them back behind us, fingertips facing towards that back wall. And we're just going to let the knees fall to the right. Inhale as we let the knees fall to the left with your breath. So breathing in, breathing out. One more on each side. Inhale to the right. Exhale to the left. And then we're going to come forward and take care of that other side. So let's grab that left ankle, draw it over, and then thread that foot underneath the right. So the knee on the left side is facing that front wall. Then we'll go back to the right foot, place it over, and the ankle is on the outside of the knee. So let's go ahead and take the left arm this time, wrap it around, really get that knee in the crook of the arm and maybe even pull it towards you for a little tighter stretch. Right hand, this time goes back behind, presses into the mat, look behind you, try to see the middle of the wall, real important here, and try to stay for three breaths. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. Fill the lungs. Empty the lungs. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the nose. Fantastic. Let's come back to the center. One more thing we're going to do in the seated position. We're going to press the soles of our feet together, sitting up nice and tall, squeezing the belly button in towards the spine. And then we're going to hold out our arms as though we're holding a platter. And we're gonna raise the right arm, cross it over the left, and then we're just going to wrap the arms around each other. This is called the eagle. And we're gonna lift up as high as we can through the elbows, trying to get those fingers towards the ceiling, squeeze the belly button into towards the spine. Let's hold this for five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna untangle and just kind of roll our shoulders out a little bit and in between. And then next breath, we're gonna hold out our platter again. This time we're gonna do the left side. So the left hand's gonna come up, cross over the right, everything wraps around, palms come together, lift up through the elbows, 
gaze forward. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Very nice. Let's go ahead and bring the knees together. Take our hands, press them into the mat on the right side. Knees are going to fall down a little bit. We're gracefully coming into a tabletop. Now, I mentioned earlier, this is where it's nice to have a blanket. So you can lay a blanket just in the center of your mat, or maybe you have a knee pad. If you don't have those things, you can fold your mat in half and then maybe fold it again. And you've got a nice little built-in knee pad. So we'll set up in our table. Once we're in table, let's begin just to make some circles. So we're gonna bring our hips all the way to the left, roll them around, bring them to the right. And in effect, we're making a little circle with our breath going all the way around. And I like to describe this as stirring the pot as though you have a little wooden spoon around your waist and there's a bowl right underneath you and you're just stirring that bowl with your breath. Breathing in, exhaling out. Breathing in, exhaling out. And then we're gonna continue with some stretches. We're gonna make sure where our hands are active and we're pressing those fingertips into the mat, making little indentions in our mat. Next breath, the right foot's gonna come back. We're gonna tuck the toes into the floor and bring the heel down towards the floor. Feel that calf muscle stretch. While we're doing this, we're gonna heel toe the foot on the left side, all the way out side the mat. And you're gonna notice how your weight's gonna wanna come on the left side. So just allow that to happen. All the weight goes into that left palm and then open up through your chest, raise that right arm, and we take a little side stretch here. Breathing in, exhaling out. And on your next breath, let's come right back into our table and make our circles again. Maybe we go the other direction. Moving that body, warming up the spine. And then coming back to neutral, on our next breath, let's stretch back the left foot, tuck the toes, draw the heel towards the floor, and then heel toe on the right side, that foot, and notice how your weight just naturally wants to come to the right, open up the chest, and then just raise the left arm, maybe even look at the thumb here and hold it, and then release, coming right back to your tabletop. Let's take a cat-cow here, breathing in for cow, drawing the belly button towards the mat, and then inhale, chin to your chest for a cow. Let's do one more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Lovely. On your next breath, we're gonna go ahead and put the right foot in between our hands. So we're just gonna take that right foot and put it right between. If you need to give it a little help, just grab with your right hand, grab that right ankle and just place it right there. And then we're gonna come up onto our knees. This is where it's really nice to have the blanket and the knee pad. We're gonna take our right hand, place it on our knee, left hand goes on top. And we're just gonna lean forward as though we're trying to reach that wall right in front of us. Feel that stretch in your left hip connector. And just stay. And the next breath, we're going to come back and maybe straighten that right leg. Maybe the toe comes up and we're gonna sweep our arms up towards the ceiling, reach, reach, reach. Try to squeeze the ears with your arms and then flatten the right foot, hands come down and reach forward. We're gonna turn this into a flow. So inhale, reach the arms up, leg straighten, toe comes up, exhale, try to go towards that front wall. Inhale, reach up, straighten the leg, toe comes up. Exhale, come forward. Let's do one more. Inhale, sweep the arms up, reach. Exhale, come forward. And then from here, we're gonna take our hands, press them back into the mat and just slide that foot on the right side back and we're right back into our table. Let's take a little cat-cow before we do the other side. We'll breathe in for cow and we'll exhale for cat. Coming back to neutral, we'll do the left side. So on your next breath, go ahead and just step that foot 
in between and you'll see my foot didn't make it. So I'm gonna take my right hand, grab that ankle and just give it a little help. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and come up. Left hand will come on top of the knee, right hand will come on top. And then same thing, we're gonna rock forward. And then exhale, sweep the arms up, straighten the left leg, toes come up and then rock forward. Inhale, sweep, arms up, exhale, rock forward. Inhale, sweep, arms up, exhale, rock forward. One more, inhale, sweep, arms up, beautiful. Exhale, rock forward, fantastic. Everybody take your hands, place them on the mat and send the leg right back to where we started. Let's take another cat cow here, breathing in for cow, exhaling for cat. And we're gonna go into our warrior series. So if you want to, you might wanna just take a time, take a little moment to remove that blanket. If you did fold your mat, maybe unfold it, remove your knee pad if you're using that and just come to right back to your mat because we're not gonna be on our knees for long here. So on your next breath, let's go ahead and tuck the toes into the mat, lift the knees and then lift the hips all the way up into our down dog, really lifting those hips up towards the ceiling or the sky and then bend the right knee, draw the left heel to the mat and then switch sides. Just pedal out your feet here. Take a quick glance at your hands, make sure your fingertips are nice and active that they're pressing into the mat. This will make your wrists stronger, protect your wrists. And we're just gonna pedal out here. And then on your next breath, go ahead and bring both heels down to the mat, press the hips up a little more and you're gonna feel a nice stretch up and down the legs. And then we're gonna change this. We're gonna come up onto the tippy toes as though you have the highest heels possible on and then press your hips back towards the wall. Different kind of stretch. We're gonna hold this five, four, three, two, one, lovely. And then come down onto your heels. Next breath, we're gonna go ahead and raise the right leg, reach it up as high as it will go, bend the knee, and then we're gonna draw it through and we're gonna plant our right foot in between our hands coming up into a warrior one. Arms are gonna come up, pressing into our ears, nice bend in the knees, look back at that back foot, make sure it's at about 11 o'clock. Squeeze the belly button into the spine, lots to think about, I know. And then on your next breath, we're gonna just cartwheel into a warrior two. Gazing through your fingertips, nice bend in the knee here, holding this. And then on your next breath, we're gonna take a side angle. So the right hand's gonna just come and rest lightly on the thigh. Left hand's gonna come up towards the ceiling. Maybe you even look at your thumb here for balance. Hold this. And the next breath, we're gonna turn this into an extended side angle. Arm is gonna go towards that front wall. Option for a little more to hold both arms out as though you're holding a beach ball. Bend through that knee and hold this either way for five, four, three, two, one, beautiful. We're gonna rotate at the waist, press the hands down and send that right leg back behind us. So we're back into a down dog, but we're gonna take a little break. We're gonna drop the knees wide right outside the mat and we're gonna bring the big toes to touch. Send the hips back and we're in a child's pose. And let's go ahead and walk the hands as far as we can to the top of the mat, press the forehead, into the mat. Maybe you even move the head side to side just to get a little massage of your forehead. Let's stay here for a breath. Deep breath in from the belly. Exhale, empty the lungs through your nose. Beautiful. On your next breath, we're gonna slide the right hand towards the body. And then we're gonna slide the left hand towards the body. Hands are right about underneath the shoulders. We're gonna come up, bring the knees back under us. Not gonna stay here long. We're gonna tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the hips, and we're right back into our down dog. If you wanna pedal out here like we did earlier, 
feel free. We're not gonna be here very long. And then on your next breath, let's go ahead and raise the left leg. Reach it up nice and high, bend the knee, thread it through. We're coming into warrior one on the left side. Squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. Nice bend in the knee. Spread your fingers wide. If you'd like, you can even make a fist with your hands and rotate the um, wrists if the wrists are bothering you a little bit. On your next breath, let's turn this in to warrior two. And if you still wanna rotate the wrists, perfectly fine. Gaze through your fingertips, sink down even lower. And then on your next breath, let's take that side angle. We're gonna just bend the left um, arm, try not to put a lot of weight on your thigh and then reach up towards the ceiling, breathing in, exhaling out, good. Next breath, take your arm towards the front and option to grab your beach ball. You don't have to. Let's hold it for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna rotate at the waist, press our hands down. And this time we're gonna just send that right leg forward. You might have to spin on the toes a little bit. So you're at the very top of your mat and you're hanging, you're kind of in a fold. We're just going to turn this into a rag doll. So let your head hang, put a little bend into the knees. And a nice thing to do is to take your hands and clasp them together, bring them to the back of your skull and press into your skull. Give yourself a little head massage. And we might as well use our thumbs too. So just take your thumbs and give yourself a little neck massage. Maybe use those bones and the thumbs just to give yourself a nice little massage in that neck area where we hold a lot of tension and stress. If you wanna rock side to side here, you can do that. Maybe you interlace your arms instead. Maybe you shake your head yes and no. Lots of different possibilities. And then on your next breath, we're gonna slowly begin to rise. One vertebra at a time, coming up slowly. The head's gonna be the last thing to come up because we don't wanna get dizzy. And let's look at our feet. Let's bring our feet about hip distance. Squeeze the belly button into the spine, thinking of our posture. Let's take our shoulders, reach them up towards our ears, roll them back. And then we're gonna sweep our arms up towards the ceiling into a mountain. And we're gonna turn this on. What, what does that mean? That means we're gonna really make it active. We're gonna squeeze our face, squeeze our arms, spread your fingers as wide as you can. And then squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. Good, lift the kneecaps. Oh, the thighs are turned on, lots of work. Lift all 10 toes. Yikes, the calf muscles are turned on. And let's hold this, make sure you're breathing, but you might notice that you start to shake. You might notice that you're feeling a little warm. Heart rate's going up. This is good. Keep doing it, keep breathing, keep squeezing. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, we're getting tired. And then exhale into Tadasana. We're gonna turn this on too, but let's take a breath before we do. So deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Lovely, let's turn this on. Let's squeeze our face. Squeeze your arms so you feel the backs of your uh, arms, the triceps. Really turn that on. Squeeze the belly button to the spine. Ooh, lift the kneecaps, lift all 10 toes. Yes, we're getting warmer. You've got this. Keep breathing, keep squeezing. Maybe you're shaking a little and release. Ah, we're tired, but we worked our metabolism. So good, so good for you. We're gonna do some balance next. So if you're on carpet or you have a thick mat, you might wanna step off your mat. If you want just a little added protection and balance, you might wanna go to a wall or maybe a chair, a piece of furniture. And we're just gonna do a little flow. We've done some of these before. We're just gonna take our hands and put them on our waist and then place all of our weight on the left side. We're gonna slide that right toe over and we're just gonna start out very easy and we're just gonna tap. Maybe you gaze at a spot on the floor and let's count this out. So tap for five, four, 
three, two, one. Now we're gonna lift the knee, straighten the toe. And we're gonna lift this, five, four, three, two, one. Now it's gonna get a little harder. We're gonna straighten the leg in front of us and we're gonna try to reach our arms up towards the ceiling and hold this, gaze at a spot. Five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. And then we're gonna bring it into a tree pose. And maybe spread your arms out. They're already up there and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, very nice. Now we've stood on that uh, foot for a long time. So let's take care of it. Let's just press our toes into the mat. Feel that calf muscle turn on and then just rotate the ankle. Maybe reverse it the other way. And then maybe we just put pressure on the toes and bend the toes back, put a little weight on them. And then maybe shake that foot out. Nice. Let's bring our feet hip distance again and do another little mountain inactive. We won't turn it on, but let's squeeze the belly button into the spine just for our posture. Lift the shoulders up, roll them back, and then sweep our arms up towards the ceiling. Hold it, try to squeeze those arms into the ears, and then exhale into Tadasana. Think about our posture here. Think about maybe if there's a book on top of your head, real nice straight posture. And then release, let's do the other side. So this, this time we're gonna rotate all of our weight onto the right side. Take our hands, place them on our waist, drag the left toes over. This side sometimes is easier if you're right-handed. And we're just going to begin to tap. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna lift the knee, straighten the toes and gaze at a spot and lift. Five, four, three, two, one, nice work everyone. Then straighten the leg out in front, raise the arms, try to get the leg up a little higher this time. Five, four, three, two, one, fantastic. And then we're gonna just bring it into a little tree pose. Maybe the arms are out and you just spread the arms apart a little bit. Avoid the knee area. Five, four, three, two, one, very nice, very nice. While we're standing, let's go ahead and bring our feet a little more than hip distance and then spin the toe on the right side out towards that right top of the mat. Spin the toe on the left side out towards the left side of the mat. And then we're gonna bend the knees. Bend the knees as much as we can. And then we're gonna cactus our arms. This is called goddess pose. And we're gonna come down a little bit, just. Uh, scooch down your body towards the mat as much as you can. And then we're gonna lift the right heel and lower it. Lift the left heel, lower it. Lift the right heel, lower it. Lift the left heel, lower it. One more, lift the right heel, lower it. Lift the left heel, lower it. Come up on both toes. Big challenge here, gaze at a spot on the floor and hold it for five, four, Three, two, one, fantastic. Lower the heels and straighten the legs. Let's straighten the arms as well. Ah, and just hold this for a moment, breathing in, exhaling out. Next breath, we're gonna take the right hand and just touch the right, the left uh, ankle. And then windmill right back up and touch the left hand to the right. Let's do one more on each side. Right hand touches the left ankle. Come back up. Left hand touches the right ankle. Come back up. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and drop our hands. Heel toe your feet in. So they're about hip distance. And we're going to take a little sweep, a little mountain. So sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, take a fold. And then inhale, flat back. And then exhale, fold. Now, something I didn't remind you of, so I'm just going to remind you right now, um, if you're not already at the top of your mat, let's go ahead and walk over to the top of our mat and then just make sure you're in a fold position. Nice, very good. And then on your next breath, let's come into a halfway lift. 
really flat back here. I'm turning so you can see how flat. We could put a glass of water and it wouldn't spill. And then exhale, take a fold. Let your head just hang here. On your next breath, we're gonna do our little challenging chair pose. So we're gonna just sweep the arms back and come into that little seated position like we're sitting into a little kindergarten chair. You can hold your arms up in front or you can bring them to heart center. And we're gonna hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, take a little fold here. Beautiful. Take a breath, catch your breath here. And then inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Just press into your shins, maybe into the tops of your knees. It's different depending on your height. And then next breath, we're gonna take one more fold. This is the last one. And then inhale, we're gonna come back into a chair pose. Sink down even lower this time. Maybe bring your hands to heart center. Opportunity for a little more if you want to come up on your tippy toes. Sink down even more and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'm sorry, we are gonna take one more fold. Take a fold. And then inhale, flat back, halfway lift. We're almost done. And then exhale, we're coming back into a table. We're not gonna stay in the table. We're gonna take our hips, reach them back towards the heels and just sit back onto the ankles. Sit up nice and tall, squeeze that belly button in towards the spine. And let's take our hands, reach them out towards the front wall, make a little fist and just rotate the wrists. Breathing in, exhaling out. And I will tell you, this was a little bit of a harder sequence today because we have Thanksgiving coming up. And I thought, well, we might wanna turn it on a little bit. All right, so on your next breath, we're gonna make our way onto our backs. So just very gracefully, just make your way onto your back and let's grab a strap while we're at it. Just take it, maybe place it on the side of your mat so you can access it very easily. And then straighten the legs or bend the knees, your choice. Send the hands outside, thumbs facing the ceiling, and then we're just gonna slowly come back. Now, I will say, if you have any kind of back issues or injuries, you don't have to come down to the mat like this. You can actually come down on one elbow, come down on another elbow, and make your way down to the mat that way. So you've got some choices here. Coming down, nice. And then once you're down on the back of your mat, let's just go ahead and check in with our low back and just come to a corpse position. Our legs are flat, our arms are flat. We're very relaxed. I want you to think about your low back and maybe even take your hand and slide it under the low back and see if there's space there. And there probably is, that's very normal. And so we'll remove that hand, both hands, and we're just going to focus on that. We're gonna squeeze the belly button and press that low back into the mat and just hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna relax. And you notice the little arch comes back and that's okay. Next breath, we're gonna squeeze the belly button in towards the mat. Hold that five, four, Three, two, one, and then release it. And this is doing a lot for your core. We're gonna do one more breath. It's also good for the low back. Go ahead and breathe in, press that low back into the mat. One, two, three, four, five, and release it. Nice work, everybody. Let's go ahead and bend the knees. And with your hands, feel for your ankles. We're gonna do a bridge pose. So feeling for your ankles, we're gonna clasp the hands together, connect them, bring them underneath the tailbone, the hip region, and draw the thighs together. They don't have to touch. And then we're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades as tight as we can get them underneath us. And let's lift up towards the ceiling. Lift the hips up. Try to hold this five, four, Three, two, one, very nice. Let's come on down and we're gonna take a breath and do one more. 
And on your second one, try to squeeze your glutes as you do it. So on your next breath, let's go ahead and lift those hip bones up towards the ceiling, squeeze the glutes. Maybe you even come up on a tippy toe on each side, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And I think we've held it for five. We'll come on down, release our hands. Let's clasp our knees and draw our knees into our chest. Make some little circles into your low back. This should feel really, really nice. Breathing in, exhaling out. On your next breath, let's turn this into a happy baby. So we're just gonna flatten our feet, grab the outsides of our feet or maybe the big toe and the second toe and maybe gently rock side to side. Oh, feeling all of that weight into the low back region, so nice. Very good. On your next breath, let's straighten the legs, to straighten them as much as you can. Try to maybe hold the outside edges of the feet and turn your legs into a wide V. If you wanna rock side to side, you might be able to reach other spots on your back that you weren't able to reach in the happy baby. Lovely. On your next breath, let's go ahead and bring our feet together. This is waterfall pose. Sometimes we do this up against the wall. It's really nice. And you can hold onto your legs or you can just let your arms relax if you like. And let's try something. Let's try pointing our toes, inhale, and then exhale, draw the toes towards your forehead. Ooh, feel the difference. Inhale, point the toes towards the ceiling. Exhale, draw the toes towards the forehead as much as you can. Wow, big difference in the stretch. One more. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, draw the toes towards the forehead. Very nice. Then we're going to bend the knees. We're going to press the feet back into the mat. Send the arms out to the side. And let's just take some little windshield wipes. So legs are going to come to the right side. Inhale, back up. And then exhale, let them come to the left. Inhale, legs come up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, legs come up. Exhale to the left. On your next breath, when you bring the legs up, let's go ahead and just slide only the left leg down. This is where we're gonna use our strap. So let's go ahead and take our strap and just unwind it. Allow yourself about two feet. That's always a good measure. And then maybe lift your head up just enough to see that right foot and place that foot into the strap. And put all of the excess strap on your right side. And then let's take both hands and just send that right leg towards that back wall as much as we can. We're gonna feel a nice stretch in the back of the leg. If you need to put a little bit in the knee, that's okay. And then let's just, Release the left arm, give it the day off, and just the right arm pushes uh, that leg towards the back wall, and then we'll do our little flow. For the regulars, we've done this before. Newcomers, it's a real easy flow. On your next breath, we're just going to send that leg with the strap all the way towards the floor on the right side. It will not probably touch the floor unless you're very flexible. And then inhale the leg up towards the ceiling, switch hands. The right hand gets to drop now and take the leg across the body to the left. Let's continue this. Inhale, leg comes up. Exhale, leg goes to the right. Inhale, leg comes up. Switch hands. Exhale, leg comes across the body to the left. Inhale, leg comes up. Switch hands. Exhale, leg comes to the right. Inhale, leg comes up. Let's go ahead and bend that knee, release the strap. And while we have the knee here, let's clasp it with our hands and draw that knee in towards our shoulder. Let's rotate the ankle, take care of it. You might hear some popping. That's okay, it's perfectly normal. And then maybe just release the left hand and the right hand can send that bent knee out to the side. Once again, it's not going to touch the floor. And then on your next breath, send that knee back up towards the shoulder. So you think it's a little closer. 
And then with your next breath, go ahead and press that right foot into the mat, slide it down, join the left, and let's do the other side. So we'll go ahead and press that left foot into the mat, slide it up, take our strap about two feet, and then lift the head, place that left foot into the strap, gather the strap, bring all that excess strap to the left side, and then draw that left foot towards the back wall. Remembering that sides are different. This side may be easier, it may be a little more difficult, and know that you can always put a little bend of the knee. We don't wanna lock our joints unnecessarily. And then we'll do our little flow. So maybe we let the right hand take the day off. On your next breath, let's go ahead and send the left leg to the left side. Inhale, leg comes up, switch hands, right hand takes over, send the left leg to the right. And you'll notice that your hip is probably gonna come up on the left side, that's okay. Inhale, straight up to the ceiling, exhale to the left. Inhale, leg comes up, switch hands, exhale, leg comes across the body to the right. Let's do one more. Inhale, leg comes up, exhale, leg goes to the left. Inhale, leg comes up. Let's go ahead and bend that knee, remove the strap, clasp the hands and draw that knee into the chest and rotate the ankle. Pop, 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 perfectly normal. Hear your breath in the back of your throat. And then on your next breath, maybe the right hand comes to the side and with the left hand, just draw that knee towards the left side. Try to keep your right hip on the mat. And then with your next breath, bring that knee back and see if you can't get it closer to the shoulder. See if that changed your flexibility. Fantastic. On your next breath, let's go ahead and just place that uh, foot on the left side down into the mat. Let's send the right foot um, to join it. So the knees are on the mat. We're gonna knock the knees together, heel toe the feet all the way off the mat. And you're gonna feel some tightening on the sides of your hips. And you can place your hands either on your belly button or to the sides. And we're just gonna hold this little stretch, It's doing a lot for our hips. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna heel toe the feet back together. Very nice. On your next breath, let's go ahead and hover the knees over the hips. We're gonna send the arms out into a T and we're gonna take a supine twist here. So maybe we'll even take a lion's breath. And what that is, is we're gonna breathe out through our mouth. So we're gonna take a deep breath in from our nose, fill the lungs, and then empty the lungs through your mouth. <sighs> Don't be afraid to make any noise, it's perfectly fine. Let's do that again. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Noticing all the stress just melting away. Let's do that one more time. But this time, let's let the knees fall to the right. So deep breath in. Exhale out. Let those knees come to the right. Take your gaze over your left shoulder. Try to keep the shoulders glued to the mat. If you want a little bit more, go ahead and extend that leg on the left side over the bent right knee. And let's hold this. Feeling that stretch on your left side, left side. Holding, breathing, breath travels up the spine, breath travels down the spine. Bringing your breath back to the Ujjayi breath, breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Lovely. Let's release that and bring the knees back to hover right over the hips. And let's do just one more lion's breath. Deep breath in from the belly through your nose. Empty the lungs through your mouth. <sighs> Feels so good. And then back to our Ujjayi breath, breathing in. 
Exhaling through the nose, let the knees fall to the left side. Take your gaze over the right shoulder. If you extended a leg on the right side, let's do it on the left. Try to keep your shoulders glued to the mat. Maybe you close your eyes here and just stay. Allow yourself stillness. Hearing your breath in the back of your throat. Going back to your intention if your mind starts to wander. And then release on your next breath. Let's bring the knees just to hover right over the hips. Let's go ahead and draw our arms in towards our body side, palm facing the ceiling. We're gonna press our feet together. And this is called Supta Baddha Konasana, also known as butterfly. And we're gonna slowly lower our feet to the mat, but we might stop on the way down. Maybe we stop where it's a little uncomfortable and we hold that for our low abdominal area. And then we keep going and maybe we stop again. And then we keep going until our feet hit the mat. Nice. If you'd like, you can take your hands and just rest them, the fingertips lightly on your thighs. Noticing if that low back is arching. If it is, just press into the mat, filling up that space. And then on your next breath, we're going to send the right leg out wide and then send the left leg out wide. Return the palms to our mat so the palms are facing the ceiling. And let's just move our neck side to side, letting go of any tension we might be holding there. And then just soften and relax through your face. If your tongue is stuck to the roof of your mouth, just let it drop right into the lower palate. If you've noticed at any time today that your teeth were clenched and you might not even have been aware of it, maybe move the jawbone side to side. Just allowing the face muscles to relax. And then just melt through your shoulders. Maybe even squeeze your shoulder blades together getting the shoulders closer into the mat. Press that low back into the mat once again. Relax the hips and just relax everything from the crown of your head all the way to the tips of your fingers, to the tips of your toes. Allow yourself to stay for about 10 breaths and don't worry about counting your breaths. I'll signal when it's time to move. So just melt into your mat. Letting go, relaxing. Take about three more breaths in Shavasana. And then very slowly, very gently, begin to awaken your body, wiggling your fingers first and then maybe wiggling your toes, maybe making a fist with each hand and rotating your wrists. Just gentle movements. Maybe you even bend your knees, hug them into your chest. Maybe make some little rocks into your mat. Turn this into a happy baby. If that feels good to you, you can windshield wipe your knees side to side. You did so many wonderful things for your body today. You even um, 
sped up your metabolism with your mountains and your tadasanas turning everything on. So nice. And then on your next breath, we're just going to roll to our right side. Just go right to it. Just roll to your right side. Maybe even make a little pillow for your head. Draw your knees into your chest. We're going to stay here for two breaths. Close your eyes. Still relaxed. Breathing in. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. Taking your time. And then when you're ready. Make your way back onto your mat, a comfortable seated position. Sitting up, sit bones pressing into the mat. We're gonna take our shoulders and reach them up towards our ears, roll them back, squeezing our shoulder blades together, squeezing our belly button into our spine and we're gonna take care of our necks. I cannot send you away for Thanksgiving without taking care of our necks. So with our next breath, let's go ahead and raise. You can keep your eyes closed. Raise your right hand. Reach it all the way across to find that left ear. And then just draw that right ear to the right shoulder. If you want a little deeper stretch, maybe move the hand up to the top of the head and just press lightly, getting that ear to the shoulder. Try to keep the body and the spine straight. Hear your breath in the back of your throat. Next breath, we're going to slide that hand to the back of our skull, draw the nose under that armpit region. Maybe the chin goes too. And release. Let's take care of the other side. So we're going to go straight to it. Raise that left hand, reach it all the way across the head, find that right ear, close the eyes, draw that left ear to the left shoulder, squeeze the belly button, straight spine. Hear your breath. Let go of all the tension you might have stored this week in the back of your neck, your shoulders. And then we're going to slide that hand down to the back of the skull. Draw the nose and the chin towards that left armpit. Try to see the back of your mat if your eyes are open. Squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. You might feel something up and down the spine. Beautiful. And then release that. And let's just roll out our neck. Just kind of roll it around. Roll your head around. Maybe your eyes are still closed. Maybe you hear a little popping. And then bringing your head to neutral. Let's continue and take care of the rest of our body as we close. Bringing our fingertips out to the outside edge of our body. Let's flip the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. Palms meet. Exhale, draw the hands down the heart center and let's press our hands together. Let's send the fingertips upside down towards the mat. So we see our veins. Pinky fingers are reaching towards the body. This turns on the forearms, turns on the biceps, helps the wrists hold this. And the next breath, bring the fingertips right back up towards the ceiling. Let's separate the hands. Do one more little fold here. Press the hands into the mat. Send the chest down towards the mat or the floor. Hold this and then slowly press back up. Hands can go back to your knees or back to heart center. Either way, namaste.